In today's video, I want to show you a concept that will save you time. There's no one I've really ever spoken with, I don't know about you, that doesn't want to be more successful, doesn't want to be more productive, doesn't want to achieve goals. Yet so many people are struggling to do just this. It seems like they're on a sort of a per perpetual hamster wheel to try and get to that point. So I'm going to show you an example here, a little bit of theory in this, but I'm going to keep it brief and it's going to be as clear as I can possibly make it. So I want you to take a look at this question. Um, I get these emails from people probably a few a week, I would say, and more and more now lately. And have a look and see what you think of this. And I'm going to try and break it down and show you where this person may benefit from you know looking at a different approach to productivity or even success i just want to show you the the map there i guess that little graph i have up because in previous videos if you're not familiar with it i've talked about it in previous videos but it really is the model i use when i'm, I'm helping people kind of become more productive or go after goals more or actually to be honest get out of anxiety or depression which is where many of us are right now the distressed mind you can see there at the bottom of that graph that picture is persona shadow the persona is the right side the shadow is the left hand side and it's all about past future anxiety is all in the persona depression the past is in the shadow and our goal here is very simple to get out of that mindset and of course everyone's trying to get up to the creative peaceful mindset at the top which is more of a unified mindset there's a lot of clarity, there's a lot of peace there. Problem is it's too big of a jump. So what we want to do is get out of the distressed mindset into what I call the insightful mind. And the insightful mind, in this video, I'm going to show you really much more about that and what it feels like or what it looks like to inhabit that mindset. So this question here, and it's an example of many such questions I get. It says, I've been working for so long trying to turn my life around for so long okay so this is whatever we're trying often doesn't work while i want to achieve my goals and stay productive i can't shake the feeling that it's hopeless and that i just won't be able to stick to anything long enough to make things happen so this this mindset and this is the distress mindset it's all about making things happen sometime in the future and there's also feelings of hopelessness. So these hopeless feelings are in the shadow. And it's, you know, we want to get rid of those hopeless feelings. We want to change it. But we're always trying to make something happen in the future. All my plans, future-based, seem to be little more than good intentions. I really do want to be a success in the future. But I have so much self-doubt and low self-esteem. Um... I'm not sure I, I believe I have what it takes. So the low self-esteem, the doubt, this is the difficult feelings we carry when we're trying to become this thing in the future, this success, this more productive person. It's, they come, one comes with the other. If we're holding on to the wrong concepts, and that's what I'm going to talk about here. In the insightful mind, everything is different. I am not in this video going to tell you to stop trying to be productive, to stop trying to be a success, because that's not reasonable. Everybody wants that. The whole problem is with definitions, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that here. So here we are, and if we're looking at the, the three mindsets we can inhabit, this is the distress mindset, and we find ourselves right in the middle of it. Now, the problem we have here with this example we just looked at is we want to, in our persona, we want to be this great productive person. We want to, at some point in the future, be much more productive than we are right now or than we have been in the past, and this will lead us to a great life. Why do we want to be productive? Well, that's because in the shadow part of our mind, there's this concept of lazy. And that's intolerable to us. We do not want that at all. So 
And in the past, we'll find all sorts of evidence to look back in the past to show and prove to ourselves that we are this bad, lazy person. Okay, unacceptable to us. So we want to become this productive person. The problem isn't really the belief that you're lazy or that there's something wrong with you. It's this attachment to someday being productive that we don't want to give up. We don't want to give up the lazy part. We don't want to give up this productive part. And that's our problem. Because we need to reinterpret what productivity means in the persona, in this distress mindset, in the future, future-based productivity. What it really means is this, guys. I'm going to show you here. It simply means you're going to struggle more, you're going to sacrifice more, you're going to force yourself to do things you don't want to do, and you're going to control your behavior. That's what productivity means in the distress mindset. All I'm asking you here, in a moment we're going to reinterpret productivity to something much more helpful within the insightful mindset. We're going to question all this old school, productive, lazy paradigm. Paradigm is a word I hate, but it's kind of appropriate. So that's one example that this person is attached to the idea of being productive. They need to drop that attachment because it's unhelpful. All it is is struggle, sacrifice, force, control. Another example, to be successful. How, what could possibly be wrong with wanting to be a success? Well, of course, in the shadow part, there's this, I'm unsuccessful, I'm such a loser, there's something wrong with me. We all want to get rid of that, but we're attached to the idea of being successful. What does successful really mean in the persona, this thing we're attached to? Well, really what it means is to be better than or superior. Now, we, we're always comparing ourselves to other people, and sometimes we want to be better than other people, we want to be, feel superior, but also... You know, if that's not true for you, ask yourself, well, do you want to be better or superior than the, than the person you are right now or the person you've been in the past? Because the, the truth, guys, is that your value as a human being is never in question and it's never in doubt. It's always maximal. OK, you're always valuable. You don't get more valuable. And your value certainly doesn't come from the things you do or achieve in life. It's always there. So. We're not okay we're trying to drop this idea of successful the attachment to it but really all we're asked to do here is to get rid of the idea that i'm better than or superior maybe who i was or anybody else for that matter okay and when we do that the attachment to this loser thing goes away what we're really focusing on is dropping our attachment to the persona because that's where all the power is another example here briefly guys we'd love to think of ourselves as being powerful okay now, we will love this idea of sometimes in the future or some point in the future being more powerful because in our shadow mind, there's this feelings of impotence, of feelings of I'm so powerless, or, um, weak, hopeless. Really, the powerful part is all about bravado. It's all about being a bully. It's all about authoritarianism to yourself primarily. Again, bullying yourself the way we talk to ourselves. Now, none of this is a character flaw. This is just how the inner critic talks to us, really. Now, it puts nice language on it, like productive, successful, superior, or powerful. When really, when we start to look at what the, the, the voice of the nervous system, which is only trying to keep us safe, it's quite excessive, okay? All we're asked to be doing is when we're in this distressed mindset, the reason I'm making this video is to point out, look, you're not giving up anything if you're giving up this old school way of thinking, because really, it's unhelpful. So let's have a look now at the next step in this, which is let's come out of that mindset and what does that look like? So we're moving up now into the insightful mind and now we're beginning to question things and we're beginning to let go of the old attachments in the, in the shadow and the persona and find things that are much more helpful to us. What we're beginning to question in the insightful mind is this whole paradigm of lazy productive. And we're going to replace that with what it means. Well, well, the attachment we're giving up there is in our persona, which is to struggle, sacrifice, force, and control everything. And what we're going to re replace that with is, what does it mean to be truly productive? That's what we're going to replace it with. Now, think about that for a moment. If your mind is trying to figure out what that could be, that's good. That's what I want this video to be for you. Truly productive means this. I start to get in touch with what I actually want. So I'm not going to be forcing myself. That requires intimacy. It requires going in and finding out what it is that turns me on, what I'm all about, what I'm interested in, right? It's much more effortless. There's no force involved in productivity. 
and it involves trust in yourself, okay? Committing to small achievable goals that you know you can carry through on. Okay, that's productivity. It's not about struggle, sacrifice, force or control. That's old school. And we're leaving that behind in, the, in this new mindset, this new way of thinking about things. Next example, question everything about this loser or success. Sure, I don't, you don't wanna be a loser, but do you really wanna be a success in this persona terms, okay? What's an alternative to that? I do want you to be a success in your life. I want you to be truly successful. What does that mean? What does it mean to be truly successful? How about this? What if you had emotional mastery in your life? Would you be a success? I think, so. I think you would. I think you would. I think start seeing yourself as equal. You're not worse than anybody. You're not inferior to anybody. You're not better than anybody. You're yourself. You are unconditionally supportive of yourself right now, today, from where you are right this moment. And also you're authentic, that's success. You're not trying to be anybody else, that's success. Lastly, this idea of, I don't want to be powerless. Well, let's drop this attachment to this powerful persona we have, which is bravado to be bullying myself, the inner critic, authoritarian to myself. Self-empowered means to be self-aware. It means to be centered in yourself. It means to be compassionate to yourself. That's what self-empowered means. And that's something that's not in the future. That's right now in your center, right where you are this minute. So what we're seeing here is an understanding of what it means to come out of the distressed mind, past, future, anxiety, depression, persona, shadow, right? Going back and forth between the two, feeling conflicted and pulled apart between those two. What I'm asking for us to try here in this is to reinterpret concepts that are already in the persona. Because you have to use concepts that are already in the distressed mind in order to get out of it. You can't access concepts that aren't within the mind you're already in. We just need to reinterpret everything. So this is all about having a new goal for ourselves. And the goal now is going to be to start to sit with this idea of what it will mean to be truly productive, truly successful, self-empowered. And I can start that right now, today. Bring these concepts into some journaling. Meditate on these, contemplate these concepts and start to look at what, what would it mean to be truly productive, to get in touch with desire, to be intimate with myself and what I really want, to have a sense of everything I'm doing is effortless and to begin to develop that self-trust in yourself. With that mindset, are you going to get further than this old school idea of struggle, sacrifice, force and control? I think you will go infinitely further in your life and it'll be much more enjoyable. So I hope that was helpful guys. Um, and I'm going to be making many, many more videos on this concept because there are so many attachments in the persona that we have. So stay tuned for that and um, I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys again soon.